Hello, this is Afar. In this uh, video demonstration, I'm going to go through uh, some of the basic Linux commands. Um, so let's get started. So very first um, command I'm going to show you is touch. And uh, this uh, command is used to create a file. So let's get started. In the, I'm going to use uh, touch in the file name file one so you could give uh, the name of the file anything you want right I'm giving a file one so that's the name of a file so when you do this it's creating an empty file it's a basically empty text file so when you hit enter it created a file it doesn't confirm anything like that so it's automatically created so let's do ls and uh, there you see the file name um, file one so that's the file we just created so if you want to write something into a file what you could do is um, you could create a, a file name or you could uh, simply just do cat and then uh, greater than sign and space file 2. So, so previously we created a file uh, name file one and it just created a, a blank file it's there but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, using cat command and uh, with this option greater than what it does it it will create the file and at the same time it will ask you to put in some uh, content in it so let's go ahead and enter so now we are into a mode that will allow you to type something in here. So what you could do is um, just type whatever you want. Just type uh, this is Linux. I am enjoying Linux. Learning uh, Linux is good. Okay, now that I entered some text in there, I want to save an exit. So what you wanna do is um, do the control and D, the control key on your keyboard and the D, the letter D. So hold on control key and hit D. What it did is it uh, wrote that content in that file and exit out of it. So let's take a look here, type LS and you see the file too and if you want to see what's in that file you simply type cat file 2 and hit enter so it uh, the output of that command is um, uh, that whatever whatever it's in the inside the file all right so let's move on uh, the next command i'm going to show you is um, uh, you know how to uh, how to write more how to write more content into the existing file so we have uh, file cat we could do cat file 2 so this file already has like a uh, three lines in there so what i want to do is i want to add more lines to it so to do that you have to use cat command and then use this double uh, greater than sign and file 2 so when you hit enter, what it does is it get, goes into the writing mode and then you could type more more, uh, con more content or more uh, text uh, in here. So let me type here. Uh, this is uh, the fourth line. Hit enter. Now I'm done uh, adding more lines in here. So simply do control D and you are out of it. So let's uh, run that command again uh, to see if it really took uh, what we uh, intended to do. Let's type cat file two and hit enter. And then you could see that the fourth line is added here. So previously there were only three lines. Now it's fourth line. So this is how you add more content to an existing file. So suppose if you want to create more files or three or four files simultaneously, you just use a touch command again.
and then you could give uh, the name of a new file like uh, x file one x file two x file three the moment i hit enter uh, what touch does is it will create three new files with these uh, different names here so let's take a look i hit enter and let's do ls now you see uh, three files with the uh, that we just uh, created file file one file two file three okay so i hope you're getting it so far so let's uh, me let me talk about this ls command so what ls command does is uh, it uh, does a list it's it's a ls is short for list it lists you all the content of the file so let me clear this screen here so to clear the screen you simply type a clear command and it clears out the screen see it when you do ls it lists the content of the folder let's do ls hyphen l so ls means list hyphen l is long list so it will give you the extended information about the content of the list here let me hit enter there you go so you have a lot more information when you use the key ls hyphen l so you could see um, uh, like for example information about this file so this file has been created around that time and the date and then the size of the file and who created it and who has access it and then these are the permissions so we'll talk about permissions later on so moving on uh, let me show you how to um, use uh, ls uh, one more command with uh, a switch hyphen a so there may be some hidden files uh, in the folders you may not see we are simply you're running the ls hyphen l or ls command so for that you do ls hyphen a and hit enter it will show you hidden files here so it seems like uh, the hidden files that start with uh, uh, with the period they are hidden so this is hidden this is hidden anything that begins with a period are hidden files so we have so many hidden files here normally you wouldn't see it unless you run ls hyphen l a uh, ls hyphen a i'm sorry so now uh, the next basic command i'm going to show you is uh, pwd pwd is uh, present working directory so if you want to know what directory you are in so you just type pwd and hit enter and it will tell you what directory you are in so right now at this moment i'm into the directory called slash root so we'll talk more about the directories later on but i'm going through uh, just the basic commands at this moment so okay you created the file right so what if you want to create a directory okay that's no problem so to uh, take a ma make a directory what we'll simply do is uh, the, the command the command is mkdir then what you would do is you would give the name of a directory so whatever the name you want to give the directory you just give it here now so uh, i'm going to give the name of a directory or in other words it's also a folder that you would create in a, a normal windows environment so mkdir i'm going to type x folder and hit enter okay so it's not going to confirm anything like that it will definitely create uh, the folder name uh, x folder so how do we know that uh, what we created is uh, is what it is and uh, how do we know the file is uh, of a directory or a folder or a file so let's do ls hyphen l and then let's go take a look here so we have this uh, a folder we just created it's uh, in color here it says x folder so we just created here and the size here and who has a permission now one other thing you know if this is directory or a folder is it starts with d see the previous ones it doesn't have any information it's just a blank hyphen this one has a d that means that is definitely a directory this is a directory not a single file 
Okay, so now previously we seen uh, how to create multiple files at the same time. Can we create multiple directories at the same time? Sure, we could definitely do that. So what we could do is mkdir and then hyphen. Oh, let me show you if we could create uh, two directories at the same time. X folder one, X folder two. Okay, hit enter, and then you do ls hyphen l, and then you see we just created two two folders simultaneously at the same time. So right now these are blank folders. Let me clear the screen. Remember to clear the screen. Uh, the command is clear. Simply hit enter. Now, what if you want to create a directory inside a directory? No problem. So you could simply use the same command, mkdir, but you have to give a hyphen p. So what it does is it creates a directory inside a directory. So let's see here. Uh, let's create a folder x folder 4 and then for that uh, to create a folder and a folder inside those folders you just have to use a, a, a slash then a name of a folder you want to create inside that folder so let's type uh, y folder one y folder So what it literally is doing here is it's going to create this directory. Okay, yeah. It's going to it's going to create a new directory x folder. Then inside that directory is going to create a folder name y folder and inside y folder 1 is going to create y folder 2. So you could see from one single command you could do multiple things here. Let me hit enter. And then you're not going to get any confirmation, but let's do ls hyphen l. Okay, so this is the folder we just created x folder here. But what about the other two folders? Other two folders are inside the folder x folder 4. So let's see here if you want to see uh, uh, if it really created those directory in that folder. So you simply type tree x folder. four and hit enter okay the tree command is not uh, installed here let me let me bring let me come back to that in a moment here okay i have installed um, uh, the tree uh, command so let's see uh, if we gonna work now so you'll learn how to install um, you know the applications all that later on so let's uh, type in tree x folder 4 and hit enter and uh, there you go it shows you this is the top level uh, folder and then under that uh, there is a folder name x folder y folder 1 and under that y folder 1 there is a folder name y folder 2 so it says two directories that means two folders okay and they, it has zero files in it okay so moving on uh, we'll uh, talk about how to copy a uh, file in from one place to another place so let's do ls hyphen l and then i want to copy x file one into x folder one so simply use uh, the command cp it's uh, the command cp is short for uh, copy so you type cp then the file you want to copy let's type uh, x file one okay this is the file i want to copy and then the folder you want to copy to okay so you type x folder two let's do x folder one okay and simply hit enter so it won't give you any prompts or anything like that but what we could do is we could uh, check uh, where if uh, the file got uh, copied there so we could type tree x folder one 
and hit enter and there you go so the it's going uh, the tree command goes through the folder and checks what it has in it so it has a, it doesn't have any other directories but it has one file in it which is this one so we just copied that file a moment ago so that's why it's showing up in there okay so let's me clear the screen remember to clear the screen is just clear and hit enter all right so well so you want to go into the directory uh, or a different directory how do you do that you simply use the cd command cd and then let's go into x folder one okay and hit enter now how do you check uh, what directory you are in remember i told talked to you about pwd type pwd and hit enter it tells you you are a present working directory and then let's see if that file uh, x file one is still there ls sure it does so so you could definitely use the cd command uh, to go in and out of the folders here so let me give you a couple more uh, steps about the cd folder you type cd when you type dot dot okay before that let me show you tree so now when you type cd dot dot it, right now we are in this folder so it goes up a folder so when you hit enter and then it goes back uh, of up a folder so you type pwd so we are not into x folder anymore we are into root folder now so hope hopefully you got that concept here so but le let's go back uh, when you type uh, a command cd what it does it it will throw you back into the home your home directory whatever your working directory is for example i am into uh, the working directory root that's my home directory so for example i'm into some folder uh let's see here x folder four and hit enter so right now I'm into a folder which is like way far away from my root directory but I just simply just want to go back to my home uh, directory which is uh, my uh, home working directory simply type CD and it throws you back to your base uh, directory or your home directory do PWD and there you go you're back to your home directory okay so now what if you want to uh, you know you want to go back to the previous directory you were in not the home directory all of a sudden you realize you want to go back uh, to the previous directory you were in so you type cd and then the hyphen hit enter so what it does is it will it throws you back into the previous working directory you were in so you could see here that the previous directory you were in was root x folder 4 x folder y folder 1 y folder 2 so this is this is how you use uh, uh, commands to uh, manipulate or go back and forth and uh, these are the helpful tips uh, that will be used uh, during your, uh, uh, your system administration so moving on uh, what if you want to copy uh, you know the entire uh, entire directory from one location to another location so let's take a look here let me clear this and do go let me go back to my working directory and let's see ls okay <clears throat> so what i want to do is i want to copy uh whatever i have in that uh, folder x folder 4 and i want to copy to the x folder 2 so the command is you copy use cp command and then hyphen rvfp okay so when you do this you're copying the entire directory and then uh, you give the directory name which directory you want to copy x folder 4 and the destination directory which folder you want to copy to x folder 3 uh, 2 okay let's see if it's going to work hit enter and then uh, it gave us a message here that uh, hmm 
okay so let me clear the screen so the command is uh, to type uh, is I actually the same command I had a slash there so when I had the slash it didn't work when you have this command and hit enter it's gonna go ahead and uh, copy it and then let's go back into uh, the directory cd x folder 2 and hit enter let's take a look here okay you see that it copied the folder x when we type this command here it did indeed copy the x folder 4 to x folder 2 so remember that uh, let me do tree here so it did copy the content it did copy the x folder 4 and everything underneath that folder so this is uh, how you could manipulate and uh, go about uh, doing and copying the directories uh, when you really need uh, to do during the system administration okay i'm gonna pause here and then continue on um, showing more uh, commands into another video thanks for watching this demonstration be sure to subscribe to my channel